All right, today I'm gonna to review Weaving the Web, the original design and ultimate destiny of the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee. So this is a throwback book. It's really, it's pretty old. It's from 1999. I mean, that's not too old, but if you're writing a book about the internet, 1999 is like ancient. So uh, it's a very dated book about the internet, but it's okay that it's dated because this book is recounting a history, so it doesn't ever change. So the fact that, uh, you know, there's been a lot of developments in the internet since this book was written doesn't really uh, degrade the quality of the content in the book because he's talking about, you know, from the early 90s to uh, the end of the 90s, kind of how the web developed. And Tim Berners-Lee played a very central role in the development of the web. So he wrote uh, HTTP, um, he designed the specs for the URL system or the URI, it's the Universal Resource uh, Indicator, I think, something like that. And then uh, that turned into Universal Resource Locator, I believe, and that's what the URL we use is. And then he also designed uh, HTML, which is the markup language that the kind of content of the web is written in. And it, it tells the story of his start in CERN at the uh, it's a, the big like physics laboratory in uh, Switzerland where they have the Large Hadron Collider today. This book starts uh, before they had the Large Hadron Collider, uh, and it, he talks about how he developed these protocols and and how they were adopted, and he kind of just traces the growth of the internet. And I found the book really interesting. Uh, it's pretty short. I think the book's only a, a couple hundred pages. Yeah, yeah, like 200 pages pretty much. And it's not big pages, uh, so you can read it pretty fast. The book is pretty technical, but uh, I have a pretty technical background. Like I can program in a lot of the web uh, languages or a lot of the languages used on the web. And I do some little, a little web development. So uh, a lot of the technical stuff I got. And I think that's what made the book so interesting for me because... A lot of it, he's talking about protocols and how they developed and then how they were implemented and how he was trying to design the protocols so they couldn't be manipulated by private entities trying to control the web. Um, it was really in interesting. I really like this book. Uh, it's a very like niche story. If you're not interested in like the technical beginnings of the web, then there's not going to be much in this book for you to be interested in. But if you are interested in kind of how it started and how Tim Berners-Lee tried to push the web towards this really free and open future and, and how he thought about the risks and, and how uh, that goal influenced his design decisions and uh, kind of what he was working towards and why he did what he did. Uh, and I really liked it. So if you're interested in that topic, definitely pick it up. It tells a history of a very important uh, time period in the world. So definitely pick it up and give it a read. It's a very short book, and you can pick up used copies for a couple bucks, so it's pretty cheap too. So I hope you guys like this review. Uh, I've got more reviews coming soon, so like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.